Hello, today's video is about an Enterprise Edition feature, the Product Asset Manager. This is not a DAM or a Digital Asset Manager, but a PAM to manage the assets of the product. It is an independent part of the PIM to collect and classify the assets and is only available with the Enterprise Edition. The persons who work on the PAM are generally not the ones who work on the PIM. They could be photographers, designers, or simply assets managers. You can manage the assets from Enrich section of product. Go to Enrich, Assets, from where you can see all available assets in a grid which can be classified or categorized. You can manage the categories of assets from Enrich, Manage Assets Categories, from where you can create new catalogs of assets or categories. The roles and permissions work same as for the product. That means you can define who can have rights on what categories of assets. Now let's see how an asset is organized. Let's go to Enrich Assets and select one asset. The first tab contains the visual aspect of the asset. You have an asset of reference that can be defined depending on the channels or the local if you want to. By uploading your asset of reference, the corresponding variations will be automatically loaded depending on the rules you have set up. For example, the mobile channel will have pictures in black and white and the print will have larger images. These rules can be defined by editing a YML file that is also used to upload new rules using the Rules Engine. We will cover Rules Engine in a separate blog. By default, there are three kinds of rules, the scaling, resizing, and cover spacing. The second tab contains the information about the asset, such as its code, its description, some tags to classify your asset, instead of adding tons of other attributes, for example, a color, a brand, a type of palette, and a date of end of use, which is just for information, and it doesn't have any impact on the assets. Finally, the last tab contains the categories of the assets. So let's create a new asset by clicking on the Create an Asset button. Let's add an asset which can be localizable and the code is new underscore camera. Now I can add a local picture for English channel with text in English and hit save. The variations will automatically appear as per the rules. Similarly, we can add pictures for other locals, for example, having text in French. We can do the same for as many locals as we want. Then we can go on properties and add attributes like tags, description, etc. And finally choose its category. The tag will be camera, new. And finally choose categories and save. This way we can create as many assets we want and can organize them to link them later with the product. Another faster way to create assets is to go to Collect, Upload Assets, where you can bulk upload assets or add files from a folder. Once the assets are uploaded, you just have to navigate to that asset to complete its information. As we have uploaded quite a number of assets, let's see how we can link them to the product. Go to Enrich, Product, and choose a product. In the category media, you will notice an attribute, Assets, using which we can link an asset to this product. Just click on Manage Assets button, which lets you find and select an asset or image you wish to associate with the selected product. You can search assets by code, tags, and end of use. Once your search returns the matching assets, simply select them and add to your basket. Click on confirm to link them with the product. You will notice that all my different locale and channel variations of the asset got linked with the product automatically. The PAM is very useful and convenient to manage the assets externally from the product. We can also integrate PAM with AWS S3 bucket to directly upload the assets on the cloud which can be accessed by external applications.